The Lone Ranger. <laughs> I.O. Silver! Away! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty I.O. Silver, the Lone Ranger. G'day guys, Mr. C here. How are you with a public service announcement about the video you're about to watch? If you have any injuries or any soreness or anything that might hinder you with the exercises, please stop before you start, okay? Uh, think about what you're doing or during the exercises. Don't go too far and push yourself unless you can actually do it. If you feel any pain, please stop and only go to a level or stop altogether. This was a public service announcement from Mr. C and Ace Phys Ed. I hope you enjoy. Take care. Hi ho, Silver! Away! Yes, that's all right. It's the Lone Ranger here, yeah. It's Mr. C in a mask. How's everyone doing? It's Mr. C from Ace Phys Ed here in our new cosplay. We're doing the Lone Ranger, and I thought, why not do an exercise video based on the mask superstar they call the Lone Ranger? So I hope you enjoy these exercises that we're going to do. We will be using bins. We will be using brooms. We're we'll using other things that will keep you fit, but also have heaps and heaps of fun. So look forward to seeing you complete this. Remember, jump on that horse, and remember, hi ho, silver, away! Welcome back, and our first exercise is galloping. Well, we can gallop, but then we can use a broom to be silver, can't we? So we jump on the broom, as you can see, put our hand in the air and swing it in the air, and we jump from one foot to the other, up and down, up and down, moving your hands as well. You're skipping, you're sort of side skipping. So you can see that I'm just going up and down, but you can see I'm skipping one foot to the other, one foot to the other and turning around. You can do that as many times as you like. I think you'll enjoy that one. As you can see, it's a little bit hot out here, isn't it? But that doesn't matter. You jump on your broom that you call silver and you keep going as fast as you can. You can go slow too, you can trot, or you can walk, or you can gallop, it's up to you. Hope you enjoyed that one. That'll get the heart racing. Hope you enjoyed. See you at the next exercise. So we've got our hat throw now. Hmm, interesting. Very easy, but I don't think so. You have to basically do this with a couple of bins open and a couple of bins closed. So you can actually try and throw the hat, which is this. You can use any hat. You can use a pair of socks, a shoe, whatever. If you haven't got a cowboy hat, flick it on. Try and get it in the bin or on top of the bin. If you miss, five push-ups for you. Okay, you can have a game against your family and friends. Always good fun for that too. Make sure you can see that we've got the broom there so you can stand behind it. So when you throw, you make sure you don't step over because that will be a foul. Enjoy that. Mine looks a bit short. And I got it in, I think. See if you can do better than me. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you at the next exercise. So this one here is a similar to when you were hiding behind the bins before and hiding from the robbers. This time, you can have a robber in there, or you can just go and get the treasures. Now the treasures will be shoes, socks, whatever you like, a big pile of stuff. So it's basically catch and retrieve, okay? Hide behind the bins, you can do a roll if you like, if you're safe, okay? Run around the bins, make an obstacle course, doesn't matter. Time yourself, see how long it takes you. Okay, make sure you go around the bins though, that's what they're there for. Okay, put someone in the middle, they can tag you. Okay, if they can tag you before you touch one of the bins, which is a safe zone, fantastic. Once you pick up one of the objects, you are safe until you come back in. Okay, really good defense game, really good attack game. Okay, bit of fun, bit of cowboy stuff right involved in this. Hope you enjoyed that one. And let's see what happens next. In the wild, wild west, our sheriffs, especially us lone rangers, we've got to make sure that we cannot be seen when we're catching the robbers, eh? So, you can see that the bins, we can hide behind them. So we're ducking and weaving and watching, okay? You can pretend that someone's walking around a robber, okay? And you can make sure you stay out of everyone's way, which is fantastic, okay? 
duck, look, even take your hat off. This hat doesn't stay on, as you can see. But make sure you can't be seen. You can run around the bins. Put as many bins out as you can. You can put five or six, okay? If you've got anything else that you can hide behind, do it, okay? You can have someone being the robber and make sure if you get seen, then you might have to do five push-ups or anything like that. You can do it by yourself too and pretend that someone's there. It's a really good game, this is. This game could go forever. You can do it in the whole house. Really good fun. Be a shifty little sheriff. Make sure you catch the bad guys and we'll be back with our next exercise. So what happens on the rodeo? You have to collect cattle and this is what we're doing next. We are going on our rodeo run. We don't have any cattle so we have to use bins. As you can see, I'm running up and back with the bins. One at a time, go up, get one, come back. Go up, get one, come back. When you've finished up one end, you run back to the other end and bring them all back. So it's called a shuttle run. But in our case, because we've got our cowboy style today, it's a rodeo run. So make sure you push the bin and also you can pull the bin because you're using different muscles. Okay, it's a little bit harder. Make sure you're watching where you're going because you might trip over and fall. Be very, very careful. Hope you enjoyed that one. Make sure you round up all your cattle. We'll see you in the next exercise. So to get strong and hold the horse, you've got to make sure you do squats. Making sure silver is always under control. So as you can see, I'm doing small squats. I'm bending my knees, legs wide apart. Okay, you don't have to do it too wide, and you don't have to go far down, as you can see. Just doing it a little bit at a time. Okay, so do that. Make sure your body's nice and up front and up straight. Okay, keep your hands out in front like you're holding the horse if you want to play silver as well. It's a really good exercise. You can do up to 10. That's a really good thing. Okay. But if you don't, you can do five, stop, five, stop, and you see how you go from there. Hope you enjoyed that one. I think you know your squats, but now you have to make sure you hold your horse properly now. Look forward to seeing the next exercise. So I'm going to ride off into the sunset on silver. Thank you very much for doing our exercises today. Based on the Lone Ranger, don't know where Tonto is. He might be waiting for me beyond the sunset, as they say. So that is our Lone Ranger exercise regime. Thank you very much. And guess what I just have to say? Hi-ho, Silver! Away! <laughs>